All right, thanks, Taylor. And as you said, we are definitely feeling that heat out here. Everybody is this evening. Absolutely. So now, of course, is the perfect time to check in with meteorologist Kyle Keel. Abby and Colin, yeah, very hot. That's what everyone's been commenting on as they come up to me. What's the temperature? What's the heat index? Well, either way you slice it, it's hot and it's very muggy. Hopefully you are taking precautions, as uh, Taylor was just mentioning, out in this heat. Now, temperatures right now, they are in the upper 80s to the north and low to mid 90s south. Right now in Waterloo, we have a temperature of 93 degrees, but when you factor in that humidity, we have that heat index of 107 degrees. So that is why that heat advisory is in effect not just through 8 o'clock this evening, but through 10 o'clock as well. So we are not going to get any relief from this heat and humidity as we head through the overnight hours. What's making this humidity so bad are the dew points. We're talking dew points in the mid to upper 70s. It does not get much muggier than this at this time of year here in eastern Iowa. You know, it's because of this mature corn crop, we got what we call the evapotranspiration, basically the moisture coming off the corn, making it feel that much more humid. But luckily, if you can hear behind me, we have a little bit of a breeze. So that's bringing a little bit of relief, but you definitely want to have that water to stay hydrated. Satellite and radar across the state shows quiet conditions. A little more cloud cover to the north has kept areas like Decorah a little cooler this afternoon. But as we head through the evening here in Waterloo for all of the thousands of people flocking to downtown, it's going to be hot. Temperatures only dipping down into the 70s, but luckily we will get a break from the humidity and the heat. We'll talk about that in the full weather forecast coming up in about 15 minutes. Abby and Colin, back to you.